It's Louis Ortiz from the HGTV featured Louis Ortiz Group, and today I wanted to share with you very quickly five ways that you might be able to find out if your home is losing value. Now, be sure to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to, I'm going to share with you a resource where you can actually find out your home's current value. So, number one, are your property taxes going down? You know, property taxes are typically based on your home's assessed value uh, times your local uh, tax rate. If your property taxes are going down, that could be an indicator that your home might be losing value. Number two, are classrooms in the schools in your neighborhood getting full or getting packed with people? You know, that may not be as obvious, but that could be an indicator that your home might be primed to lose value. The reason is because schools are typically funded by uh, local taxes and if they're not collecting enough taxes, they may not have enough money for schools or for teachers. And as a result, there may be some consolidation in the classroom. So if classrooms are getting really busy in your neighborhood, that could be an indicator that your home might be losing value. Uh, number three, are businesses in your area leaving town? You know, if businesses are leaving town, that could be a big indicator. We know that real estate is very, very much a supply and demand issue. And if there isn't the demand for housing, that could be an indicator that your home could be losing value in the near future. Are nearby homes in your neighborhood taking a long time to sell? Now, this is number four, and this could be another indicator that your homes could be losing value. If properties are just not selling as quickly as they, as they used to, that could mean that there may be some downward pressure on prices to get those properties sold. And finally, number five, a very obvious one is, are houses in your neighborhood selling for less than what they used to? You know, we know that um, uh, most buyers, when they're gonna buy a property, statistically, they're getting a loan. And when they have a loan, even if you have a really great offer on your property, if that property does not appraise at what the buyer and seller agreed upon, that buyer may not be able to get a loan. And so if homes are not selling as high as they used to be, that might actually be a negative comparable that can hurt the value of your property. So it's something to be really, really aware of. And as promised, if you'd like to know the value of your property, here at the bottom of the video, there's an email link. Send us your information and we will send you a detailed analysis for your property to give you an idea about your property. And we may be able to share with you some insight if we think your home value is actually going down. You know, we've seen price appreciation here in our local market for quite a few years. And we know that real estate cycles are typically in trends with up and down cycles. When is the next cycle gonna be? The reality is nobody can predict with certainty when it's gonna be, but the data suggests that we are currently overdue for a correction. So this might be a really relevant time for you to get that property value information. So please send us your information and um, we'll, we'll send you that, uh, that home evaluation. On another note, I wanted to share with you as well that our team is hiring agents throughout California. If you know anyone that is looking to start a career or make a change, we are looking for a variety of positions for our team. Please contact our team here below um, if you know anybody that might be interested in that as well. If there's anything that we can do to help you, please contact any member of our team and we look forward to helping you um, now in the new year.